When designing cast metal parts, one of the biggest concerns is manufacturability. Today I'm going to be showing Click to Cast, a solid thinking product that simulates the process of filling a mold with cast molten metal. Setting up a simulation in Click to Cast is simple and intuitive. I need to set the units of my part and then start defining how the metal is going to go into the mold. I'm going to set up a square end gate with quarter inch sides and place it on the top of the part. Next I want to create a mesh which is going to break down my complex geometry into a large number of small simple chunks and the computer can brute force calculate through all those small elements. The smaller the element the more accurate my results are going to be but it's also going to take longer to calculate so I want to keep it somewhere in the middle. I need to define materials and starting temperatures for both the molten metal and the mold. I'm going to leave these all at the defaults but just take a look at some of the options. I set my gravity in the correct direction and we'll just take a look at some of the extra options like tilt pouring simulation but for now we'll keep with the basic analysis and go on to calculate. I can calculate just the filling stage or in this case I'll also calculate the solidification process. Now this takes about 12 minutes on my computer so we'll skip to the results and we can see how click to cast has calculated out how the metal is going to fill up my mold. I'm watching for things like air traps where I might want to put in vents or high velocity areas in the flow. I can plot temperatures, velocities, and even see how these develop through the process. Watching this in 3D can be a little bit overwhelming, so at times it might make sense to simplify by just taking a 2D slice of the geometry and plotting over that area. It may also be useful to extract extra data in an XY plot. And this information can be exported to other programs like Excel for further analysis. I might look for problem areas like air entrapments or maybe mold erosions and see a few areas that might be of concern. I can also look at the cooling time and get a sense of how the part solidifies as it sits in the mold after the pour. I might want to look at the times to figure out how many of these parts I can make in an hour or look for problems like porosity or maybe even use the custom riser design tool to improve my mold to get those air traps out of the final part. Whereas in the past, the only way to troubleshoot a mold like this would have been to invest the time, labor, and capital into making test molds and making changes with each one. Now with click to cast we have a virtual prototype mold that we can test out on our desktop in minutes. This allows us to try out alternative methods figure out whether different temperatures or in-gate locations will make a difference, and generally troubleshoot and avoid having to rework the mold once it's been made. If you'd like to know more about how click to cast can improve your design process, please email me for more information. Thank you very much.